Yo, 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 what up, YouTube fam? It is day number 49. The 49ers, baby. We got some some steak, some ribeye. Locking in the ribeye here. And it's gonna be fire here on the cast iron. Got another 50 seconds. Let me see, just feel a little bit. Yeah, probably take it off. And then let it sit for about 10 minutes. So, it is Tuesday. Busy day, y'all. It's like I'm seven, haven't eaten all day. Cause my, I told you guys, my dad's coming next week. So I just wanna make sure I have all my work done so I focus up a little bit. Sorry, I'm looking for one sec. Sorry about that, I had to find this thing here. So I'm gonna let it rest for a few. Got my Redmond Sea Salt Trader Joe's Peppercorn. And we are about to grub on some steak. It's the first rib I've had probably in about, man, a week and a half, maybe, since I've been back from Texas, Houston. Guys, Houston has some of the best cuisine. It's, they're like top three to five, allegedly, in the country for cuisine. And uh, your boy got a chance to have a pork chop at Perry's, which was one of the top, it was like a top 10 maybe meat pork chop. Imagine if I had the sides with it, had some amazing broccoli and mashed potatoes, but I didn't because we've got to focus up and lose some weight. I haven't had a ribeye in a long time, so I'm excited about having some ribeye locking in. Locking in, y'all. Ooh. Give it a little taste. We'll see a little, little taste, all right? All right. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, baby, can't you can't see him? Oh, now we're talking, now we're talking. Ooh. Oh, baby. Yo, so I have a confession to make. After I ate that first one and I kept chewing it because the camera got off, I kept chewing it. It felt a little rough. It felt a little rough. And Sarah doesn't like the ribeye as much as the, it as it on the cast iron as it is in the sous vide. And I'm 100% with her. The only problem that I had was the sous vide took a little longer. It took, you had to prepare a little bit more. And it's not crazy. It's just like the cool thing about doing it on the cast iron is four to six minutes and you're done. And you just clean up and you're good. The sous vide, you got to put it in, got to prepare it, and then leave it in there for 90 minutes. If you don't, then you're eating later because you have to get that 90 minutes, two hours. And then you got to sear it out again. So it's a lot more cleanup. And it's like, just, I got to just create the margin to make it happen. So with that said, I'm actually going to focus more on sous vide. The sous vide as of right now, unless my boy Benji, shout out to Benji Man TV, who's vlogging every day, making amazing food. If you're just like, want to dream a little bit about food, go follow Benji Man TV and see his personal channels. Benji's like, just amazing makes good coffee makes good food and is such an amazing friend and the, an even better friend benji what do i gotta do i'm using the cast iron I'll, I'll tell you this the setup so put the beef tallow and i season it put the garlic put the salt put the pepper one minute one minute when i do it for six minutes at about six six hot when i do nine it, it just starts to get really bad and it doesn't taste as good should i make it nine benji and go one minute, one minute to four minutes. So four different flips. Love your thoughts. And anyone else that has an amazing recipe on the crock pot, not the recipe, but just how to prepare it on a cast iron, excuse me. Because right now, the sous vide is so much better. Because the sous vide cooks it like evenly and it's cooked evenly. And you just sear it a one minute, one and you're good to go. And so I'm thinking about going back to the sous vide. So I'd love your thoughts, Benji, love your thoughts to the crew. And uh, yeah, so probably not tomorrow, but Thursday, I'm going to jump back on the ribeye and test the sous vide. What I should probably do is do one. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that soon, but test a ribeye on a cast iron, test the sous vide 
and blind test Sarah to see what she thinks, see what the girls think. And then, yeah, I'll give my objective, honest review. Okay. All right. I'm going to head to bed. I love you guys so much. Tomorrow's way in Wednesday, way in Wednesday. I'm a little nervous. So I think I had mentioned that going to Houston, eating out stuff, I ate, I think I said this, two times a day versus like right now when I'm back home, I'm, I've only been eating really, I've only been hungry once a day. So going out, I think I ate a little bit more than I normally have. So it's been two weeks since the last weigh-in and I'm just hoping that I'm down and I can have a gain weight or stayed at the same spot. That's the biggest thing. Hope I haven't gained weight and, and I don't even want to stay at the same spot. I want to lose weight. So I have goals. By January 1st, I want to be under three 40. I want to be under 340. I want to see 340, 339 something. Be crazy if it was under 339, but I want to get under 340, y'all. That's my goal by the end of the month. I would be really happy. Yeah, and I've got, I should, no, I should get under that. I should get under that. Yeah, I should definitely get under that. I am having a cheat meal on Christmas because my father's coming, which is in a few days, which is crazy. It's four days, y'all, four days from now. Yeah, I'm like all preparing, like what's going on? My buddy that does my hair, he can't do it. So I'm like, I'm gonna have to cut it. I wanna make sure it's good. Gotta, gotta look good, man, for the fam coming into town. Okay, sous vide. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go back to sous vide for now, unless I, I just, I haven't perfected the, the, the cast iron yet. Just being honest. All right, guys, I love you so much. Shout out to all of you guys for commenting. Keep commenting liking, subscribe if you're new here. Love you. Meet you tomorrow. Peace.